So many people ask me about the servo tester that I sell on rcscrapyard.com, which is this one, and specifically how to use it. So I thought I'd just run through a quick five minute tutorial on how it works and how to use it. And very simply, it's designed to test servos just to make sure they operate correctly. I'll give you a quick rundown of how that works. So first of all, what we need to do is connect power. Now the connections can look quite daunting because it doesn't actually tell you on here which is positive and negative. So I'll show you how to do that. You can use one of these type of battery holders with four AA batteries in, or in this case, I'm going to use a hump battery that uh, is an RC scrapyard battery, but it gives you an idea of how it works. So this has both connections and I can use either one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the black connector. And the trick here is to make sure that the negative wire or the black wire is always at the bottom of the servo tester. And we're going to plug it into where the white connection is just here. And you'll see, hopefully it'll fire up. There we go. Okay, and it's all ready for me now. So that's now ready to test. Now what I need to do now is connect some servos to make it work. This will take up to four servos. I'm going to connect two at a time so that you can see what happens. Uh, now, I've got three servos here, one of which I know is faulty, uh, and the other two I'm not sure about, but I can't remember which is which. So let's give it a try and see. What I've done is I've just literally put a wheel on top so that you can see the servos in action very easily. Um, it's not anchored properly, but it gives you an idea of, of what's happening. So again, negative wire goes to the bottom, and we're going to connect it, and I can connect it in any one of the ports. Okay, and we'll do the same for uh, this one, for example. Um, and again, I've just put an arm on top, and I'll connect it negative wire down. Negative can be black, or on some servers it can be brown. Um, and I'll connect that into one of the other ports. Now from here, I can do a manual operation. And you'll see that if I turn the, the knob, you'll see the servos move. Let me move them apart for you. So you can see there, the servos are moving. But I can also test it in an automatic way. So I can do it as slowly or as fast as I want. But I can also test it in an automatic way. By choosing the select button and changing, I can change the pulse width and also the status. And here you see, it's just running from one end to the other just to test the servos. I can also use the button to slow it down so I can check the step motion of the servos and I can speed it back up again. Now what I like to do at this point is make sure that although the servos are working, make sure that they can handle the strength. So what I literally do is put my finger on top of the servo and press. And if the servo keeps turning, then you know it's good. And these two look like good servos. You can hear it straining. And these two seem to be good servos. So I'm going to plug in this one, which by elimination must be the faulty one. I'll unplug one of the others for now, the white one. And we'll plug in this one and see what happens. And you can see there immediately that servo is already failing. Can you see it stuttering? Now if I were to put my finger on top of that, it would probably stop. It doesn't like it at all. You can see it stuttering. If I speed it up, it will probably exacerbate the problem. Yeah, it's working, but it's not working very well. So that to me is a faulty server. Now there are lots of other functions that you can do on this servo tester. Um, you can change the pulse width if you have digital servos, uh, but it will work with both digital and analogue. But I don't need to go into that amount of detail right now, as long as you've seen it working and understand that it's a very simple operation, just as long as you get your connections right. If you get the connection wrong, it won't break it, it just won't light up, and it's as easy as that. So the servo tester is available on eBay and on my website, and um, thank you for watching.